Hi, my name is Ken Durant, and I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and I'm also a trucker. And you are watching Trucker Joss Vlogs. Chevy's very excited because Diesel's very excited. What else? Can you sit? Can you sit? Diesel can sit. So Diesel's coming with me on my first regional trip. I'm not in the Kenworth yet, I'm in the Volvo, but Diesel's coming with on this trip because that truck hadn't been detailed in a long time, so I'll, I'll clean it when I'm done. And Chevy seems to think he's coming too. You wouldn't like it, buddy. He's like 15 minutes out and then you'd be scared because mom isn't there. Or are you just upset that I'm taking Diesel for a night? Just one night, Chevy. You're taking his diesel. My diesel is my friend, my brother. It's interesting how they know when something's happening. Okay, chef. Okay. 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 All right. I'm ready. It's another rainy day out too. But our apple tree is blossoming. Very nice, eh? It's always nice in spring when it does that. Diesel, you're you're not going in the mud, are you? Diesel? You be a good boy, Chevy. You take good care of mom, okay? Don't cry, buddy. Yes. You need to stay with mama and, and the littles, okay? You keep her safe. Oh, Chevy, no, no, you're in state. Chevy, you stay. Chevy, Chevy. You stay. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's not make this harder than it has to be. Bye, Chevy. I'll be back tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. Love you. Love you. He's ready to go. Hopefully our next trip will be in Old Blue. Hopefully the, the decals don't take too long to get here. The decals. The decals. Gotta get them on the doors on the side before we can take a trip with it. Might put temporary ones on if we have to, but uh, we'll figure it out. We'll be together soon, okay? Don't look at me like that. I don't want to drive her. I don't want to drive the Volvo. He doesn't know me too well yet. He's not too sure of me because I got this Volvo out here right in front of him. He's getting kind of nervous, but don't worry. I'll be right back. Look at this. I'm 5'10". Look how high this grill is. I'm standing as straight as I can right now. 5'10". That's a big grill. Cool thing about this truck, which was another bonus, I forgot to tell you in yesterday's video. Uh, I wasn't expecting this, but check that out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That was a big bonus, and I haven't uh, shown you guys the horns yet. It's the best part, obviously. Got the two air horns up there, and uh, don't worry, I have this funny feeling that. There's going to be a bit of an upgrade in that department, not too far in the future, but we don't need to worry too much about it because these are pretty nice already. What's up, old blue? It's me again. I know we're getting to know each other. You got to get to know my scent. Okay. 
You ready for this? It's gonna be kind of loud in here because I'm inside the shop, so headphone warning, all right? Oh, okay. Made my day. I'm a kid. I know, I'm a, I'm a grown kid. So whenever you see me on the highway and you got your kids with you, or if you want to do it yourself, I don't care. Make sure they give me the arm pump, okay? I'm just looking for an excuse to honk those things. Okay, let's go to Saskatoon. Saskatoon. See you soon. Your, your interior lights are gonna go off, right? Of course, before we go. All tucked in, safe and sound. Jeez, oh, how's it feel to be back in the saddle, man? Can you sit? Can you sit? Of course you can. Good boy, you got a little carpet there to sit on. Yeah. So we got our uh, got our paperwork. It's trailer 509. I'm not sure if they left it tied down or not. I'm, I'm pretty sure they uh, they didn't, so I'll probably have to tie it down here yet. Uh, that's usually how it goes, because when I was a city driver, I, I know how it goes. This was brought in from uh, in the state somewhere, either Iowa or something like that. I'll have to check the paperwork here a little. It's going to Saskatoon though. Let's go find it and hook up. Well, we got it all. Uh, we got all the straps thrown over. All the protection in place. Always use protection. Uh, tighten it up and get going. All right, Diesel, before we go though, you want to go for a little walk? I brought his stairs with, of course. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Those are called a uh, pet loader and you can find them on Amazon if you're wondering. It's the weekend so I can let them run around. It's a fenced in yard here as long as you clean up after your dog. But during weekdays and when the forklifts are operating in the yard here, uh, gotta have your dogs on a leash. Nobody's around right now though, so just me and him. Let him stretch his legs a bit. Hey Diesel, this way, come. Come on. Going without you, bud. He'll follow. Gotta go to the driver's room. Come on, Diesel. Come on the driver's room. Come on. Check it out, man. I'll be right back. You ready to rock and roll, Diesel? Ready to go trucking? Let's go see what the sketch tunes got going on. Go see some cows. Come on. Cows are his favorite. He loves them. Come on. Up, up. Up, up, up. You have 13 hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. Aye, aye. So we got Karen with us here and uh, Miss E-Log here, both uh, telling me what to do. Can I control the, the bunk fan from here? Uh, I should be able to, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Karen says it's 861 kilometers to our destination. We have to deliver this load 7.30 a.m. sharp tomorrow morning. Let's roll out. First trip on regional for me. And I'm looking forward to hopefully the next trip when I get to uh, say it's the first trip in the Kenworth.
would take us about nine hours to get there. Come on, open up. Open up. We got some trucking to do. Some Volvo trucking. Are you diesel? <laughs> At least he's comfy back there. You ready, diesel? I was born ready, man. She's born for this. There's Karen yelling at me already. This is a pretty nice truck though. Okay, I, I bug Volvo a lot, but it's a good truck. I always say it. Don't take me too seriously. Friendly banter. Looks like we are clear in this lane. All right, there we go. Continue on this road for eight kilometers. Saskatoon. these wipers stay so high up they need to be adjusted so that they stay down more oh well not a problem not a big problem little problem how's it feel diesel sounds like this motor is struggling man I think you need a bigger motor I agree Good thing the Kenworth's got a bigger motor, eh? Won't have any problems pulling with that thing. Just stopped to check the load here. Uh, this is that little pullout on the east side of Brandon. Brandon is just down that way. That's the way we're going. Same way as this guy. I've missed the sounds. Of the highway. Love that sound. But this is a little rest area here. Figured I'd, uh, I had to stop to check the straps and everything. And while we're here, I know there's a little trail in here. Stay out of the long grass, Diesel, if you can. I'm hoping not to pick up any ticks in here. We're gonna go for a walk because we're trying to make this a habit again. When we're on the road, I want to get in shape and I want to start walking every day again. And this is one trail that I went down uh, a couple of years ago. It goes around over here through the bush and comes back out behind the truck over there. He has his tick medication for this summer already. So I'm not too worried about him getting any wood ticks. Any of them that latch onto him will just die and fall off. Uh, but we still want to be careful. That's why I have him on the leash here right now. I thought of letting him just, you know, run down the trail. He'd be fine. But, uh, I don't want him getting a whole bunch of ticks. We're going to try to stay on the path. But look at all this wood. You see that? Why is it, why is it like that? Diesel, just stay here for a sec. Look at this. Like, down here is darker. And then suddenly, it gets lighter up there. Almost like the bark has been peeled off all the way up. All of these trees. Not on this side, but over here. Weird. Right? So I got my app called Map My Fitness running right now. It uh, has a GPS tracker. It'll follow me on here and tell me exactly how far we walked, how many calories I burnt. That's the app that I used to lose so much weight for uh, our wedding. That was in, uh, <laughs> the wedding was in 2017 and I lost all of my weight. It was in 2017, I think I lost 40 pounds, right? 30 or 40 pounds that year? I gained it all back plus some. So this summer, we're changing things up. Me and Diesel are hitting the road again. Not going too far, but uh, we are hitting the road again. And got a nice truck that we're gonna be rolling down the highway with. I wanna make sure that when I get out of the truck at the truck stops, you know, I match the truck, that I look good too. So we're gonna do this. We're just gonna walk. He needs to get in shape a little bit too. He's been, he's been a little spoiled at home and uh, it's a smaller yard. It's a nice little nature trail in here. Oh, I miss this. 
feel like I'm exploring again. You know, getting out into nature. Seeing the world a little bit again. Diesel, can you get out of there? Is that a squirrel? Caught me off guard, buddy. You leave the squirrel alone, okay? Yeah, leave him alone. What you got walking to do? See, it goes around there, the path, and that way, and then back out that way. I want to do this every day. I want to stop every day. And uh, what did I do last time? I walked at least, I made it my goal to walk three miles a day or five kilometers. We need to do something similar now. Oh, the trail goes that way too. Oh, we'll see where that goes next time. I know where this one goes. A little bit muddy. Everything's muddy out here. Manitoba is very wet this spring in 2022. But everything's turning green. It's beautiful, eh? No, Diesel. No. Stay on the path. No. Stay on the path. And we made it out. There's the truck down there. I do diesel stay out of the puddles. Good boy. There's the truck right there. We're almost back. Here it is, man. Trailer 509, that's us. Oh, that thing's just giving her. Yikes. Here we are. Okay, we did the wood tick check. Check diesel, best I could. I had one on my neck. Uh, I don't know how it got on me. I stayed on the trail the whole time. He wandered off a couple of times. I had to keep calling him, stay on the trail, stay on the trail. He doesn't have any ticks. How did I get one, man? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, it wasn't latched on or anything. It was just uh, crawling on my on my neck. Hopefully that's the only one. All right, lights on. Let's go. Come on, Volvo, let's go. Let's go to Saskatoon. We have another 650 kilometers or six and a half hours or so of driving. Or maybe somewhere around there. See, there's like a little rest area in here and stuff. That guy drove past me like five times. I wonder, I was wondering if he's gonna come say hi to me or not. But if, if you were going to, then hi. There they are, see little rest areas in there. Nothing fancy. One kilometer, turn left on Highway 464. That pickup behind me just vanished. Where did it go? What? Did it drive down the trail? It just vanished. Oh well. So I'm gonna get back on that highway there and uh, head into past Brandon into Saskatchewan. No need to stop for Timmy's today because uh, I brought coffee from home for today. I think I meet up with the road over there somewhere. I thought there was a driver, a uh, driveway closer by here. I guess not. I haven't been here in a little while.
We made it, Saskatoon, and you may recognize this guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I did it. There you go. <laughs> From an intro not too long ago. The wandering bearded idiot. <laughs> this is our friend Adam. I wandered. <laughs> <laughs> He's been one of Brit's friends actually for over 15 years, I think. Yeah. And uh, he was one of her best friends growing up, if not her best friend. And now I'm stealing him. Now he's mine. I'll, I'll take it. I talked this over with Britt. She wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's Saskatoon here. We're going to chat for a bit and then head off to bed. Not bad lighting in this truck. Huh. Whoa, let's not fall over now. <laughs> it's been a long day driving. I'm gonna edit my video right here. What do you think of this? This is my editing station for tonight. There you go. Look at that. Look at that handsome couple. Yeah. I'm gonna put this all together for you so you can watch it tomorrow. Have a great one, everybody. The first day back has been awesome. I'm looking forward to getting back to Old Blue. But for now, Diesel and I are gonna enjoy our night here in the Volvo. It's actually ran really nice all day. It's a really smooth running, quiet truck. If this is what you're looking for, if you're looking for highway comfort, the Volvo's a great truck. I poke fun at it all the time. It's, I'm supposed to do that. I'm a Kenworth guy. It's a Kenworth Peterbilt to, to the bone. But this, these are great trucks if, you're, if that's what you're looking for. So Diesel, let's say goodnight. Good night, everybody. Lights out. Lights out. Turn your lights off, man. Turn your lights off. Time for bed. Thank you. <laughs>